When I first arrived at CMS, I was, this was my first role as a chief human capital officer, and I arrived in April of 2020. So we were very much uh, in the pandemic. We were experiencing a lot of challenges in terms of on the policy side of our organization, responding to the pandemic. And then on the people side of our organization, wanting to make certain we actually had people in place. We were providing them with the right types of resources. We were figuring out how to work in a hybrid environment in ways that we'd never experienced before. In my human capital organization, we also were experiencing um, challenges in the sense that I was the first person to actually lead the organization who was a true human resources professional. We had historically been a very transactional organization from our components perspective or our partners perspectives. So really shifting from a transactional organization to a more strategic organization was one of the largest initiatives that I was um, came in to address and my executive partner assisted with that in tremendous ways. The reorganization and how we functioned as an, H- as an HR organization was so important because we were needing to change how our customers looked at how we serviced them. So making certain that we were operating as one integrated unit as opposed to you know, many different silos within HR was extremely important in how we believed and how we looked at ourselves because we needed our customers to see us that way as well. When I first engaged with Gartner, it was very early in the process. I had was new to the organization. There had been a previous consultant that had come in and done a an analysis of um, the HR organization within the Centers for Medi- Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. Um, and although they'd done this analysis, the what next was really undecided. So it was you know, of no value, if you will. First, we did the HR score. So really getting us to understand what areas we were most mature in and what areas we really had opportunities to grow and helping us to think about the integration points, even with how we were structured within our HR organization. So those tools helped us to really begin to think about our internal organization differently. And it led to a reorganization that we planned and executed earlier this year and have been operating under for about six months. So this past year, I guess actually last year, we um, ordered a five pack, if you will, of the HR business professional license to give additional members of our team exposure to the research and in support of some of the efforts that we had underway. This year, we expanded that license and now have about 20 of them. So we've got more individuals on the team because we've implemented as a part of our reorg um, the strategic talent leader role, which is similar to the HR business partner concept in hopes that having access to this research will help them be able to develop the strategic plans with our components where their human capital needs are concerned. So they are excited to have the resources available and I'm excited um, to have them use them moving forward. Having an executive partner to bounce things off of who has served in a similar capacity has been invaluable. Um, I think the other aspects have certainly also been the research that I've been able to use in support of business cases and or arguments in providing information with our um, component partners about how we can approach work differently. I would say Gartner's impacted my career really by helping me to succeed in my first role as a Chief Human Resource Officer.